Hello. Just adjusting my chair. <clears throat> and welcome to the Synchro Mystic Path. My name's Angie. And uh, this is the third video on these uh, Druidic Craft cards. Um, these are, this is a story of the eight. I've, I've um, realised that that's the title. <laughs> This is the story of the aces or twos. This is the story of the eights. So let's get into it. Because <clears throat> my phone's doing weird things today. I've already tried recording this once and it went wonky. So, <laughs> right. What we have here is another aspect, part, step, level, however you want, pardon me, however you want to describe it, of this journey that we're on at the moment of uh, the evolution of consciousness, expansion of consciousness, okay. So here, so this, this card here is very much around um, the energy of um, the create creativity and um, like the, the staying up all night to get that project finished. Um, for any creatives out there, you know, you, you know what this is like. I've done it myself. You know, you do. You stay up all night to finish that project. Um, and it's, it's, it's kind of exhilarating, you know. Um, but what this card tells us is just to be a little bit careful. Because sometimes that can lead to, so if your um, creative expression is slightly skewed, it can become a self-imposed prison. So you could say, so even here on YouTube, uh, we see people, um, they start off in a very, you know, very, being very creative. Um and then they get, you know, they, they get lots of subscribers or they get, you know, they, they get to a point where they're not being creative anymore. They're just looping, which is this. Yeah. Um, there are many other examples I could cite, but as we're here on YouTube, I thought I'd cite that one. <laughs> so next card. I love this card. I really love this card. Um, and <laughs> we're in eclipse season, are we not? Although this is a solar eclipse, obviously, uh, but it's an eclipse. <laughs> How mad is that? Um, so once you come out of this energy of this self-imposed prison, it's like you, you need to get to here. So you need to step on it. Yeah, literally. It's like they're running up this ascent here. Yeah. Uh, they're not even stopping. They're not stopping for anything. They're going, yeah. Because it's getting dark. Okay. It's about to get very dark. If you've ever experienced a total solar eclipse. Uh, so there was one here in the UK that I experienced. That was in 1999, I think. I think it was 99. Um, and I was lucky enough, uh, I was working in a, a cabling place that shipped cables, like, um, for all sorts of reasons, all sorts of things. Um, and next door, in the unit next door, there was a, uh, a welder. So I, <laughs> I was lucky enough to look at the eclipse through welding goggles how cool is that anyway amazing experience but it goes very it goes very liminal it goes very quiet it is really quite magical um so yeah in this card you there's there's definite you know you're you're going from here to here and you've got to do it as quickly as possible. Yeah. Sometimes you need to step on it. 
most of the time you know we're walking that synchronistic path we're observing the signpost and making those choices you know uh, but sometimes we need to step on it um to get to this here also um there's a progression of time i'll get to this in a minute there's a progression of time here so this is like staying up all night this is very much early morning light this is this could be any time of the day yeah but the sun is it's actually not that high in the sky so you you could say it's coming up to midday probably i would suggest um, and then here, this, this card I'd say is very much early evening. This, the sky is the right colour. The, I don't know, it just feels like, early, like so there's a progression of linear time here as well. Uh, this is high up. Because um, you can see in the background here. I, I love a magnifying glass. I am Inspector Clouseau. Um I am actually a psychic detective, believe it or not. Um, I work in the Acacia Records. Um, so, yeah, well, this is very high up. So you've actually gone up. You've gone up here, yeah, and you've reached this bit here. Um, and basically what you're doing is you're launching your fire. You're launching your intention. You're launching your will, if you like. Yeah, into the night or to the early evening. Uh, doesn't sound as poetic, but hey. <laughs> um, so there's a very clear progression in these cards, and I love this card. I love this card. When I saw it, I'm like, wow, there's so, it just, it's like jatty times a hundred, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, really. And this is very physical. The The previous one was more subtle, subtle body. This is very, this is a very physical um, part of the journey, if that makes sense. Anyway, um, that's it um, for this, um, the story of the eights. I must remember that <laughs> when I do the next one. The story of. So this was the story of the eights. Um... And, you know, wherever you are in your journey of expansion of consciousness, one of these, read, you know, readings, for want of a better word, uh, one of these journeys will be yours. Definitely. Definitely, definitely, definitely. So, if this one wasn't, uh, watch one of the previous ones, or check out the ones that are coming after. Okay? So, thank you very much for being here and uh yes don't forget to stay fearless